The first one is Cravat Noir. I think that's how you say it. Oh yeah, there we go. Plenty of juice on that test strip. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? EJ, I have not smelled a fragrance that was this luxurious before from your line. Oh my God. Yo, this is, this is elegance in a bottle. This is so luxurious. Right off the bat, dress up fragrance, 100% dress up fragrance. You go into one of those parties where you have to wear a suit or you go into a wedding, dress it up with this one. Oh my God, it's, and it's got, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's very smooth vibe, but it's got a lot of depth in it. Maybe some citrus, but, but slight citrus, not a lot. I don't Get a little bit of sweetness in it. It's kind of spicy, but very sophisticated, very luxurious. I like this one. These are all my own opinions. Um, the fragrance in question is green Irish tobacco. Um, these are from a discovery pack and uh, they're all five mil. Get out of this straight away, the notes is ambergris, lemon, tonka bean, vanilla, tobacco, um, and it starts off, when you spray it, it starts off really, really like a, a, a beautiful sea mist, ambergris smell to it. And then the vanilla and the sandalwood and the tonka beans start to come in quite strong as well. So that mixture of creaminess with the saltiness really, really works well. Um, I think the scent is supposed to be a similar to two fragrances that we all have heard of. One is Green Iris Tweed by Creed, and the other one is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. But the, the mixture of the like the, the salty saltiness of the ambergris and the vanilla and the sandalwood, the creaminess is just sublime. It's beautiful. It's what a creation. I'm coming at you a little bit late today. I usually don't make videos on my scent of the day, but today I had to make an exception. It's the very first day that I have worn a Happy Land fragrance called Amberland. Happy Land is the brainchild of creator EJ Wells, and it is a fantastic house that creates fragrances that are extremely unique with fragrance blends. And this particular fragrance is called Happy Land Amber Land. Amber Land, just like the name implies, primarily has a patchouli, it's got amber, it's got sandalwood, it's got a bright top with some bergamot in it, also has orange, also has vanilla in there and labdanum, and it's so, so good. Now, it doesn't categorize itself as unisex, but it is unisex. It can be worn equally by a woman as well as it can be worn by a man. Uh, my wife really likes this. I was wearing this earlier this morning, walking through the hallway, and she was like, what is that that you're wearing? I said, it's Amberland. I showed her the bottle, because I had it in my hand, because I just sprayed it on my arm. Sprayed it on the crook of my arm, creates a really nice scent trail. This is an extremely, it is almost gourmand. I, I love the fact that this is sweet, but not overly sweet. It is not overdone. It is like the perfect balance of vanilla, orange, you got your citrus, your bergamots there that keep it nice and bright. And it doesn't air too much on the on the warm side, but it is extremely luxurious. Very, It's very warm and inviting, yet it's also very intriguing and luxurious as well. Amberland, you might think. So, going backwards, we're gonna go to Homeland, or Amberland, sorry. And I'm just gonna respray over the spraying that I did. The dry down's incredible on it. So let's just spray it over it again. But what you get out of this one is all three of these atomizers are sick. They're just 
see if you can see that. That literally goes halfway across the room. Now this entire room is gonna smell. Wow, this is amazing. It's sweet. This is gonna be one of your date night scents. What can I say about this one? This is just incredible. This is right up my alley. If you followed me for any time at all, you know that I'm into amber vanillas, the sweet ones. This is a great one for that. Incredible. Can't. No. I said, why? This is already this already exists. I have this. Uh, this is bottle purchase worthy to me. I like the fragrance a lot. Um, yeah, so far I've done two reviews. Uh, Paisley Sky. I'm going to try to do one of those little things. The bar that comes out up top. I have no idea if it's going to work. But if I can, I'll throw the review link right up there for uh, Paisley Sky. I love that fragrance. That one still is better to me than this one. Only because of the profile of it. For some reason, that mixture is mind-blowing. I love that fragrance. I, I honestly am almost out of my decant. And I just used it. Like, started using it like a week ago. So if you get a chance to uh, to try these things out. So far, we've got two amazing fragrances, Paisley Sky and this guy right here, Green Irish Tobacco. Definitely get my recommendation. You should get your nose on if you get a chance to. So that's a wrap. Hopefully, you enjoyed my video. I had a good time making this one. I'm really starting to have fun making these videos regarding Happyland Studios and the different fragrances that they came up with. Uh, EJ, I really do appreciate the work you put into this as a frag head. It's just cool to try these different experiments and or fragrances that you've created uh, on my own especially where some of them are comparisons to other fragrances and i get to see what my take is on your creation again this one here today green irish tobacco it's a banger to me it really is it smells great it's gonna be two from the same house an indie house my favorite indie house and it's gonna be barbershop by happy land studios this is a mainstay in my collection i do the wet shaving routine so this one is always gonna be a mainstay in my collection that's Happy Land Studios Barbershop, just a masculine, bitter orange, fougere barbershop style scent. Very powerful, very strong. So to go in line with that, a must have in my collection is gonna be Signature from Happy Land Studios. One of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. This is just a gorgeous fragrance. My wife loved this one, so this one will have to be in my collection forever. I have That's never, it. and you see I'm smiling, Happy Land fragrances are happy fragrances. They just, they make me happy. I don't know why. They just, they're very uplifting whenever I put any one of them on.